Hi everyone, Alan Hicken here. Uh, received my package uh, today. Uh, this is my Scolopendra uh, Mutilance. Uh, it's a Chinese red-headed um, centipede. So as you can see, guys, I'm in the bath. But <laughs> so I'll never, uh, I'll never do an unpacking video again in my bedroom. I'll always do it in the bath, just like I have done with uh, with my tarantulas in the past. So. Absolute excellent packing. The big um, styrofoam box, as you can see. Um, so, just try and get the uh, try and get the lid up if I can. Just done a um, just done a swap deal with a, a bloke called Mark. He uh, works or owns um, forest floor reptiles in. Uh, Rushton in Northamptonshire. Thank you, Mark, for the uh, transaction. Really appreciate it, mate. There we go. Two heat packs there. Excellent um, packing. Two heat packs at the top there on the lid. And then puffed all this out. Excellent packing. So. and get the uh, tub out if I can. Heat packs have uh, gone cold so I'll just uh, get my scissors. I've been uh, all prepared. Just take this out of the way if I can. There we go. All done. Uh, I think I can, yeah, I can just see uh, just there, there it is. Chinese red-headed centipede, Scolopendra mutilans. I think that's how you, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. So what I'll do is, guys, I will just get rid of all this packing, and I'll keep that just in case I want to ship some teas. So I'm just going to put it in this temporary um, enclosure here, just for the time being, because I haven't really got much time. I've got to shoot off back out again. So I'm just going to put some dirt in here, probably around about uh, three inches of substrate because I like to burrow down. So I'm just going to put some dirt in there. There's the dirt there that I'd made earlier. So I hope all you can see okay guys. So I'm just going to put some, put some dirt in here now. But um, yeah, it should be okay in here. Just for the... Uh, just for the time being. This is just um, substrate that comes in a brick form, the cocoa fibre. I've got 20 bricks for uh, 20 pound posted. So it works out at a pound a brick. The more bricks you buy, the cheaper it is. So it is a, a good deal to be fair. So what I'll do is guys, I'll, um, I'll uh, unpack the uh, centipede and then I'll uh, let it run around the bath because I know it can't uh, get out. So there you go, just uh, you know, three inches of substrate in there. I'll put a, I'll put a water dish in there a bit uh, a bit later. I'll probably put some more substrate in there actually. Well, that should be enough. That should be uh, absolutely fine. So let's just get all this out of the way. <coughs> so here you go guys. Hope you all can see okay. So what I'll do is I've got my um my two foot tongues. I don't really want to get uh don't really want to get bit. <laughs> so So what I'll do is I'll just use my two foot tongs here. Coming very handy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick the tissue out slowly. And if it decides to do a runner, 
Now I'm not really too fussed. There we go, guys. It's all alive and well. The Scolopendra subsis beeps mutilants. That's the full name. Common name is the red headed centipede. Chinese red headed centipede, sorry, from China. Yeah, it's round about, it's a good five inches. Probably say a male, because I've been told that females are more um, more stocky, but I'm not too sure. So yeah guys, I'm just going to try and transfer it into its new enclosure. Hope you all can see okay. I'll put it up here actually, so you can see better. Oh. Oh, sorry guys. Tripod's on a, on a mad one. So what I do is guys, I can try and get the centipede to put it down there if I can. It's hooking onto its and it's <laughs> hooked onto my tongs. Ah, there we go. Not too bad. Very nice species. You can see why they call it the red-headed centipede. But it, um, yeah, it should burrow down there nicely. And I'll put that on my uh, my tea and my sea um, wardrobe, tarantula and centipede wardrobe. But yeah, guys, I'll put a I'll put a little water dish in there, and then I'll put. Um, some spag in the moss in there to keep the humidity up. So yeah, guys, that didn't go. That didn't go too uh, too bad. I enjoyed that. Really getting into my centipedes now. And uh, at the BTS, I'm hoping to get a Scolopendra hardwicki and a Scolopendra galapanensis. Hopefully. So we'll see what happens, guys. And it uh, seems to be um, searching around. Probably somewhere it's going to probably dig down in a minute because I love to dig around. But yeah, guys, uh, that went really well, actually. But looking absolutely beautiful. I'd probably say it's about a five, five inches around that area. Well, I've been told to get to get to about eight to nine. So plenty of growing to do. This is my sixth uh, centipede I've got now in my collection. So I hope to get number seven and eight at the BTS in May, in the next eight weeks or so. Can't wait, guys. I'll see you there. If anybody's coming to the BTS, I would never miss it for the world. This will be my third BTS. Absolutely fantastic day. I'll bring my daughter, my oldest daughter with me, like I did last year. And my good friend Daniel Oakley. Check out his channel, Pure Oakley 01. Fantastic guy. And thanks for watching, guys.